Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and install the Extreme firmware onto my new flipper, my transparent one. So I got a new transparent flipper, as you can see here, it is transparent, which is pretty cool. And on my regular white one, which is over there, I have Unleashed, and I have another flipper that I use for Rogue Master. So I have Rogue Master and Unleashed on two of my flippers. And this third one, third, third one's a charm, I like this one and I wanna go ahead and install Extreme. So if you guys are ready for the video, let's jump into it and have some fun. All right, folks, so here we go. I just went to GitHub and put Flipper, and you can see the Extreme version on this GitHub. And if we come down here, you can just go to Extreme, you, it's Flipper-XFW, and you can come down here and click on Firmware. And when you get into the firmware, Let's make this bigger so we can see it. And before we actually install this or do anything, make sure you have your flipper. Make sure you have your USB that comes with your flipper. And I, I'm doing this on my laptop that I'm remoted into, just to FYI. And I wanna go ahead and plug this in really quick. So give me a sec. Let me go ahead and plug this into my laptop. I'm gonna plug the uh, USB in. I'm not gonna plug the flipper in quite yet, but we'll get to that in a second. So just make sure you have those two parts ready to go. All right, so if you come onto the main page, the Extreme Firmware, we can come down here to the releases on the left, right-hand side here. Right-click, and let's open up in another uh, tab, okay? So in releases, you can see that the releases were, this was in February 2nd, which is about a little over a month ago. So the way you can download it, so I remember having a problem, I think, with my Rogue Master install. You can do it through the uh, Chrome, which we're gonna do it here. I guess Chrome is recommended. I wanna go ahead and I guess this is not supported. No worries at all. We can go ahead and get a Chrome window here now. Go ahead and do that. I wanna go ahead and copy this, paste it here. And we can see that it says connect. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull all this over just to have everything on the one browser. All right, so what I was saying before, just before we hit connect here, if you need to download the TJ, uh, TGZ file, you just click on that and then you can upload it. But that's only if you get an error. Hopefully we don't get any errors here. And then you can see the install guide here, which you can follow and do all that good stuff. All right, you can build it yourself. You can do a whole bunch of cool things and thank you to all these contributors. And I don't recognize anyone here, but I'm sure they're all awesome, so thank you. So what I wanna do is come over here to the first tab and connect. So if I hit connect, obviously there is nothing to connect. So now, moment of truth. Let's plug this bad boy in and let's see what happens. So I just plugged it in. Now, now let's go ahead and hit connect. And here we go, it popped up right here. It's a little small, but you can see it. <clears throat> if you can't see it, just it's the only one that shows up. <laughs> so that's all good. Okay, so this is my flipper. I do have a 120 something gig SSD card, which is an well, SD card, which is overkill, but I already had it. And they're so cheap, so figured, why not? So you can see the latest firmware, and obviously we can see that here as well. So it's FXW-003-53 uh, underscore 0-2022-0-2024. All right, so you can see it here, 0 0-2024. And all you do is really just hit flash and wait for this bad boy to start flashing. So once it actually loads up all the files, hopefully everything goes well. And once it's up to date, we can go ahead and unplug it, and then we can utilize the Extreme firmware. So while that's doing that, I wonder if I can open up the flipper to show, because I don't obviously I don't have an overhead. Um, it cannot connect it because it's busy. Okay, no worries. Hopefully that didn't destroy this. All right, so this can take a few minutes to finish. Obviously it is uploading, it just, it's not really doing nothing on my screen. It's pretty much just showcasing updating right here like it is on here. 
So it's pretty much identical. So we'll give this a few minutes. If, uh, if there's any errors, obviously I'll, I'll resume, but let this cook, let this go through, and then we'll resume once this is done. All right. 